okay so this is the code that we have created yesterday and i'm just trying to deploy it so it is take some time for the deployment and uh, yesterday it has shown the uh, npm error so how we can solve that npm error so for that you can just simply go inside your project first so where we have created inside the desktop we have to go there project and here we have a project option so you can just simply go and in which module it has shown it has shown inside the ui front end so we have to click here and here you see inside that we have one package that is package.json here we have one json file that is package.json okay it may be a two things why it is showing this npm error your npm is not supporting to a typescript so for that we have to change the typescript version so you can just simply double click here and here we have uh, this inside this package.json we define all the predefined things okay so we have to double click and open it okay so it has opened it, it will take some time i have opened the wrong one okay it has opened let it be so here you see here we have to search the typescript maybe it has present somewhere so just come at down and see the typescript version so where it has here you see it has present inside this at line number 48 so we have to change this version like here you see here we have a 3.3.3 something so just change it and here we have a arrow as well we have to remove the arrow as well okay and instead of 3.3.3 uh, just write here 3.2.1 otherwise uh, 4.2.0 if it is not solving 4.2.0 just change from 4.2.0 to 4.2 3.2 okay 4.3.2 so just save now and just try to deploy it okay come here and again just uh, close this one otherwise it will throws the exception here okay so we'll see it is showing the error here or not see it is downloading now that uh, npm that npm has downloading okay so now it will throws the exception we'll see what it will happen okay let it be the till now uh, we will see the different errors okay so when you try to deploy when you create at the first time okay the folder structure that time it will throws the groovy error okay so how we can solve the groovy for that you just have to go inside your m2 folder okay where we have a m2 inside your our c drive users is there and after the user here we have a uh, users okay and here we have a m2 folder so we have to come inside this and where uh, that groovy all of this thing is stored it has stored inside our repository so we have to go inside this later that we have org after the org here we have a apache otherwise maven okay so just go inside the apache and maven is there okay so archetype uh, archetype common and later that we have a 3.2.1 so we have to go inside this and inside this inside this pom file here we have a four point uh, we have a groovy error okay so you can just simply go inside this okay so once you have gone there here you see it is showing the error all the time inside this okay so whenever you are trying to deploy that time it will throws the groovy error why before that it was a 4.8.16 so we have to change from 4.8.16 to 4.2.4.8 okay so this is uh, the groovy error okay later that just consider now we are getting lot of errors consider now we are getting the error in your apps okay in your apps you are getting the error so what's the solution you can just simply go inside the core okay 
you can just simply go inside the core uh, like uh, where we have created the folder you can just simply go there like consider okay so here we have created the project uh, this is the demo and uh, here we have a core inside this core here we have a palm file if it is showing the error in some dependency just try to open it for this just open this one okay it has open this is our core file this one is our core okay so you can just simply do one thing uh, this one is our core no so if any error it has throwing in this website in this dependency so just you can just do one thing just comment out and try to deploy it okay and if maybe maybe sometime maybe sometime it will throws the exception which exception like a version exception so for that we have to change the version so just do like this come here and just write the version okay whatever the version it is and just close this one okay i'm just showing the example okay so we just have to write like this okay so uh, this is the thing this is called as a exceptions uh, in this way we can solve our errors okay so maybe this time it is showing the error inside this core uh, inside this front end so you just go inside the front end open the pom file uh, somewhere we have a pom just open this pom file and solve the errors this is simple yeah so it is showing the error uh, that is a uh, npm so we have to change the version which version we have to change it just uh, go inside the ui front end where it has here package.json maybe where it has package.json okay so open it edit with notepad type script somewhere yeah 4. Point, this time we have to change 4.3.2 save it go there and just try to deploy it again okay still if that error is not solved again it has showing the error so then we have to download the uh, old versions of the npm old versions of the node so in this case in my in my laptop so let me go inside the system variable just open it go inside this here we have a path and just simply edit so here you see inside this i have i have the node js okay and what is the type of this node js so for that you can just simply go on the cmd and check it okay so node version okay so this is the version that i have uh, 16.16.0 so when you download the node version uh, at that time npm is also installed so npm underscore underscore version hit enter and here you see here we have a it will shows the npm error uh, version yeah so here you see now we are having the 8.11.0 so when you download this version of the node then it will this npm will install automatically so don't download the latest one like i think 19 or 18 is there so don't download the latest one otherwise your typescript will not support okay so for that you can just simply download the oldest one okay and uh, here you see when you are coming here that error is gone before that see it is showing the error but right now we are in the front end but it has not showing the error why because of it has install i think so we have to see it let me hit enter and see it okay here you see 
in this line in which line uh, that error is showing but right now uh, it has that two things has installed successfully and it has uh, going onwards Okay, so I'm just stopping this session here only. So.